Right then, I've clicked on the link and here is Jamie's website here. If I click on edit site like this, it opens up the HTML5 editor. And you can see Jamie's a website. So I'm now in editing mode and the easiest way to get to the posts are simply to click on any of these features here like this, left click, and then go down to edit and add blog post, click. And then it gives a list of all the published posts. You can either go and click on the link that says edit, or you can just click on this feature here. So if I go into who was Sydney Haig, click on it, it will now open up the post in editing mode. You've got your basic uh, text editor here. You've got your scroll bar, which scrolls down here. And then you've got your other scroll bar here, which moves to the top. And this gets a little bit uh, annoying because as you scroll down here, sometimes uh, you lose these features here. So how do you add in text? Well, first of all, if you want to move features, you need to click with the mouse and you can see it's flashing here. So this is a bit like if you're writing a word and you just simply press enter and it pushes it down. Uh, for some reason, it's set at Open Sans 17 px and I've made all his writing uh, 14 px and I've made his titles, I think, 24 px but you can go and change that later. So then you simply just start writing like that. You can then highlight the writing and then you can go and change it to 14. There you go. If you carry on writing, obviously the pictures move down like that. Uh, don't worry about the layout and style. I can obviously go in and have a check through it. So that's how you add in the writing. Do you see how the menu bar disappears? You just need to drag this bit up here. Um, how do you add in pictures? Well, to add in a picture, uh, there's a link here insert an image, you click on it and it will take you to the add images um, window and there's a list of all the pictures that have already been uploaded. So what Jamie will need to do is he'll need to make sure the pictures are already on his uh, laptop because then he can click on the upload images button like this and that will take him into his laptop and he could obviously click on uh, his picture Let's say this one, uh, I don't know, here's one that I haven't got, let's just go and find one. So you could click on this, like that, select open, and then the computer will gradually uh, count it in, depending on the size of it, there it is there. Once it's in, you simply just need to click on it, and select add images, and it will add it in there. Now the image will come in as actual size. Uh, I tend to make my other images medium, like this, and I also then tend to click on the left align box like that, so then it goes on the left. I can then click on my writing and press enter, and you can see it goes down the side, the right hand side of the picture, and then once it goes to the left, you can then start writing again. And for some irritating reason, it seems to go back into size 17px, which you can then go and change back over to 14px. When you are happy with the changes, you simply press OK. And then you press the all important save button here, and that will save the changes that are made. And you get a little message saying that's OK. Now, depending on where you put the picture, it will appear as the kind of image and some of the writing will appear down at the bottom. How do you preview uh, the blog? Well, there are two ways to do it. You can either click on preview and this will show you what it looks like before publishing and you can simply click on these as they were links and they should open up like that. And now you can see it there. Do you see how irritatingly that's not gone to the left? So these are some of the changes I'm gonna have to make. Uh, if I click on back to editor, I'm back to the editing. Now, if it stays on here, you simply want to click on single post and click back onto home. And that will take you back to the main page and you can go back to the individual editing. The other way to look at the website is to click on publish. Hopefully you can see that. And then select publish. 
and this will now show it as though somebody was looking at a website if you simply click OK this is the page now going live click not now thank you and hopefully it will appear somewhere here no it's not done Let's click on publish and publish there we go uh, you can click on that link and that now opens it up so this would be the link that Jamie will send to his teacher and this is now it live uh, last bit how do you get to uh, the other features in the page when it's live well if you scroll down to the bottom there's that link there but remember once you're in the editing mode none of these links actually work and you can simply go in and click on the post and do the editing and stuff I think that's probably all that you need to know for this done <laughs>